Welcome to the 20th anniversary celebration of the Legislative Assembly of the Northwest Territories. When I was doing my research for this, I looked at laws we lived by. I looked at the regions we lived in, and I looked at our shared beliefs. It is of no surprise that our legislative assembly began like the history of our people, nomadic. It's an amazing place because here we have Inuvialuit, Métis, Dene, people from all over the world, people from southern Canada, all living together, 40,000 of us in 30 odd communities and somehow we, we seem to make it part of our business to reach out to one another, to understand one another and to govern that. We'd always met in hotel rooms, community centres, community halls, no windows, very dark. You didn't know what time of day it was. You'd come in the dark, get to work, you'd leave in the dark, you'd never see daylight and eventually they said well we should have our own building. In 1990, members of the 11th Legislative Assembly agreed that the people of the Northwest Territories needed a permanent home. Tried to take to the legislature of the day that we wanted $25 million, and that 20 years ago was a lot of money, to spend on a building for politicians. A few people got together, and the politicians and some other people, and then they came up with the idea of floating the uh, first bond issue ever in the Northwest Territories for people. MD could buy bonds to be owners of this building. Lo and behold, the bond issue went out, and it was oversubscribed. There were so many people wanting to buy bonds that not everybody got bonds. As the other people interested, the architects said to the members, what do you like? What do you need? What do you want? Because we were downstairs prior to that in basement rooms, we said let's have offices that we can have our assistant work with us, we can have a place that we can call our own and that we can see daylight. The building was designed to reflect the connection we all feel towards our land and the water that surrounds us. The building also reflects our consensus government with the circular of the chamber in our caucus room. We didn't want the building to be the most predominant thing in the land. We wanted it to fit into the environment. So that's why it's sort of in, not in a hole, but we sunk it in so that it didn't become uh, prominent in it and didn't overshadow the environment around the lake and around the area. They made uh, plates, ingots of zinc, and they banned the whole building. And it has the impression of the rock that was here. You'll see that in the chamber as you walk around and look at the stained glass that's there, the carved glass that's there. It looks like a map. It was the landscape. It was the seasons. And if the, sometimes the way the light comes through there, you can see the fall colors in the tundra. You can see the ice in the winter. You can see mountains. You can see rivers and streams and lakes and tundra and all that. You have to use a little bit of imagination, but it's there. The wall behind the speaker's chair is impressions again of imaginative, uh, symbolic again. You look down on the tundra, you see the cracked ground and the, and the shrubs that lay flat on the ground because they don't have standing trees. That's what that looks like. And of course kids look at it too and say, hey there's a wolf on that there, you know, it looks like a wolf, looks like a dinosaur. I'd like to welcome uh, one and all to the, uh, the Premier's panel. Uh, that we're calling uh, Moments in Time. It's uh, to mark this uh, 20th 
anniversary of this, this beautiful building that we call home. Nunavut and the Northwest Territories are still consensus. And that means that you can run as an independent. If you get elected by your people, you go there to represent them, only them, no party affiliations. You belong to a party, a federal party, but uh, you don't represent that in our territorial. Everybody is independent. As you get elected, you help select the premier, or government leader they called them, and uh, six cabinet from the ranks that you had there, and then they uh, turned them over to the uh, premier, who would then assign them portfolios. Down in the south with uh, the party systems that they do have, it's, uh, you know, you have to tow the party line and stuff like that. You don't have that here, so you get more done, and, and uh, that's the way it should be right across the country. People make comments about the fact that if you want to be a mature government, you have to have party system. Well, when are you going to get a party system? I think what we have works for us. In a consensus system, nobody gets left out. Nobody gets to decide for everybody else what should be done. Everybody is involved. That is the magic and the beauty of, of what we have. A lot has happened in the North. For myself, probably, you know, the biggest uh, achievement I've had was during my term as the Speaker, and I've been involved in the MACE program, and you know, I was on the committee that we designed this thing right from the ground up, and it's probably one of the kind in the world right now in regards to how to design and how it was built. A lot of thought was put into it, is how do you encompass not only one or two culture books, but all the different cultures in the North, and also the uniqueness of the North. The crown was designed with an idea that it's going to be snowflakes. Every snowflake is different, so it encompasses the idea that you know, we all live up here, but everybody is different in their own way. Pebble was picked from every community in Northwest Territories. And once you lift it up in the chamber, you can actually hear the pebbles falling. It's one of the few mesas in the world that actually has a diamond on it. The different designs give you the landscape of the Northwest Territories, from Bulford Sea all the way down the valley picks the history of the North from the fur trade all the way into aviation. If you can actually read into this thing, it, it's the history book of the North in a maze. In all my travels, I'm told uh, this legislative assembly is uh, one of the most distinctive, the, one of the most unique, uh, and one of the most beautiful legislative buildings in Canada, if not uh, in North America. It's a great building. It's the building that belongs to the people in the Northwest Territories and it carries an awful lot of authority and, and I think that it just goes to show what the building is all about. It's lasted 20 years and I'm quite confident the design of this building is so amazing and so unique that it will last another 80 years. People together, Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal with diverse languages and cultures resolving difficult issues sustained by shared aspirations. We are forging new partnerships and a new Northern vision is being created. The people gathered here today are truly representative of that vision. Still. <laughs> with the Legislative Assembly going into devolution, we as Northerners can basically carve our own territory, develop our resources and create jobs for our young people to be wanting to live in the North and develop the North. It's an example for the world. It's an example for the rest of Canada, how diverse people from diverse cultures, diverse uh, values and beliefs can come together on common issues and make it work. Within the next five to ten years, you know, if we, we take over our devolution and it's going to give us more strength as a territory with provincial-like powers and I think we're in charge of our own destiny and I think that's going to be a good thing for all Northerners where we're going to have your member able to say what you want to do with the, the funding that's coming in from that devolution deal. So I think we're going to make good headway with that and and uh, we're in charge of our own destiny. And I think it's a bright future for the territory.
Hello, I'm Rick Mercer. Congratulations and happy 20th anniversary to the Legislative Assembly of the Northwest Territories, one of Canada's newest and best looking legislatures. When I had a tour back in 2005, you were just a, you were just a 12 year old adolescent structure, still finding your place amongst the older, more established buildings. But now look at you. The mortgage is paid off, and the Northwest Territories have a legislature that can truly be called your own. Once again, congratulations on the 20th anniversary. I can't wait until my next visit.